doing what's going on. So I got to ask, do you compare Brian, Brian Flores to Colin Kaepernick? And it's similar, but it's different. Um, what Colin Kaepernick went through, Brian Flores should have seen coming. And I did touch on it in my, my video. But Colin Kaepernick had Trump come after him. He had owners come after him. He had an entire divide. Brian Flores is speaking truth. And it would take other black couches to come out and speak. And, it, and the only reason why it's reverberating is because of the points that he's making. Because Bill Belichick sneaked up and snuck out and mentioned the other Brian Dunbar, who was a Buffalo Bills coordinator, or John Elway drunk on the job, or that Bill, you know, and, and um, those instances, or Stephen Ross, the Miami Dolphins owner who said tank games. But. You can't compare it to Kaepernick because Kaepernick didn't just get white ball. He had the whole country against him. And it was very, very deep. And it was in, and it was so embarrassing that if you watched that Super Bowl the last time, the 49, when the 49ers lost to Kansas City, and they were trying to anoint Jimmy Garofalo. Because remember, Jimmy Garofalo, Garofalo, uh, Jimmy G was supposed to be the heir apparent to Kaepernick. Remember? They didn't even mention Kaepernick's Super Bowl appearance against Baltimore. And now Jimmy G is it wants out of Frisco because he sucks. He's Millie Vanilli a quarterback. But the bottom line is this. Remember, Flores did take a shot at Kenny Smalls, the receiver who got traded to Houston for taking the knee. And we're past the knee, is what Jay-Z, a.k.a. Lazy, said. And, and so Brian Flores echoed that until he got a dose. The bottom line is if a black man tell you something early on, why would he lie to risk his opportunity? Because let me tell you something. Being a black quarterback has only been an open door in the last two decades. So it's even just not that far removed from being a black head coach. So why would Cap have to? Cap told. But Flores had to find out the hard way. And I support him. But you can't compare Brian Flores' situation to Colin Kaepernick. Because Colin Kaepernick got ridiculed, got mocked. Had a lot of people, including a president. However... The fake NFL now with their in racism and taking a stance and all this stuff and all this fake kumbaya that they're pulling now had to pay Kaepernick and he got a Nike deal, etc. etc. They've been low key trying to not trying to divert attention because they whiteballed him and ran him out. So Brian Flores actually gets the benefit and ride off of Colin Kaepernick. And I don't think he really paid Cap that kind of attention until he found out the hard way his own self. And like I said, if somebody black tell you something serious and they're not jiving you, you need to take heed to it. Because Colin Kaepernick, beyond an apology, beyond the job, these racist owners should give that man part ownership. If they really wanted some change. Tell Cap. We want you to buy into our team. We will never let you play again. Because that was. And that is our systematic racism right there. You should have ownership. Roger Goodell should step down. A lot of these owners should step down. For what they did to Colin Kaepernick. So what Brian Flores is talking about. And I'm down with him. And I like I said. He caught me off guard because I didn't think he had in him because I didn't like the way things was coming out. But I give him his due. However, you can't compare it to what Colin Kaepernick went through because Kaepernick had an entire nation on flip, flip. And it reverberated to the NBA, to Major League Baseball, to soccer across the planet. And they still... 
still going to feel the wrath of Kaepernick. So Brian Flores, welcome to the party, brother. But uh, Colin Kaepernick had put that there, and it reverberated in a real way. And it ain't over. It ain't over. Because there's a lot of people who will boycott the NFL, and this is only going to, and they should be, USFL to any of them. How dare they make a mockery of justice in black people? And when are you going to have enough just to be entertained? All right, please give me your thoughts and your taste. Hit that like, subscribe, and welcome to thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, I applaud Brian Flores, but you can't compare it to what Colin Kaepernick went through because Cap got lynched. And believe me, when you have the president people saying, get him out of here, and them white, them white, Race soldiers and white segregation segregationists, those haters that are NFL owners. Remember when Jerry Jones took a knee? Remember that? The Kaepernick effect. Yeah. Think about it. This ain't over. But I am proud of Brian Flores, and I hope more come out and speak. Because you got to stop treating black folks like it's a pastime or something happened, we sweep it on the carpet. This need to be talked about every day. I'm out.